Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Today I'm going to show you how to take some basic chords from the chord sequencer and turn them into full-blown melodies. First, we're going to set this chord sequencer to soul and R&B, 80 soul ballad, and find an arrangement to send to the piano roll. Down here in the view section, let's set this to an eight bars loop. That sounds a little harsh. So let's go over here to the velocity section and humanize the settings. Let's start arranging these chords. Let's lengthen these chords and then lay down the next four bars. Now let's send this to the track so we can take a better look at it. Let's get the razor tool and start cutting some of these notes. I want to adjust the velocity on some of these notes. Now that we've made our slices, let's select some of them by holding the shift key and selecting the ones we want to move up an octave. Then while holding shift and command, press the upwards arrow key. Now let's do the same to the rest of the chords and then hear how that sounds. Now that we've done that, let's reverse and bounce this into a sample. When you bounce melodies into samples, you're able to manipulate them better than you can with MIDI.
Now that we have a sample, let's add some effects. Let's start with halftime. Let's transpose this up 12 semitones. Now let's add a little bit of reverb. Let's use a sweeper modulation effect and go into the filter folder and try the crotchet step filter preset. Let's play both lanes together and hear how that sounds. After listening to it, I think I want to move this whole melody up an octave. I'm adding a high and low pass filter. Let's pull up Antidote and add a synth bass. If you want to get a glide effect with the synth bass, we can turn this glide knob a little bit to the right and then go down here back into the piano roll and overlap the notes just a little bit. We can even turn this arpeggiator on to give the bass a little movement. EQ this and then go through a few of the modes.
Let's add a pulverizer just to give the base a little crunch. 